Alright guys, we're back with the new TFT mode on PBE. We have to pick a trait, and I just picked Phantom in the previous game, which is probably the most toxic trait of all time. Now what I want to say, the most toxic trait so far in this game mode is, is Glacial. Let's try it out. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be hilarious. You get a frozen mallet, and that freaking frozen mallet, or Glacial mallet, um, attacks have a chance to stun enemies and deal bonus magic damage. If we take a look at the Glacial trait, it is 100 magic damage and it has a 25% chance to stun for one second. So what you do is you just go full Ginsu's and you enjoy it, man. But you could also go Duelist. We probably just go Duelist. I lost so hard against that guy. It wasn't even close. It really wasn't even close. It was so ridiculously broken. Yesterday someone played Duelist. I just couldn't do anything. He just won the game instantly. Because at 2 Glacial, it's 400 magic damage. Gain 2 more Glacial Mallets. So you just have 3 Duelists with freaking infinite attack speed, dealing 400 magic damage every 4th attack on average. Ridiculous. So ridiculous. And stunning your unit for a, for a full second, bro. Absolutely crazy, right? Absolutely crazy. Infinite damage. I saw some people play this with Bard as well. Now again, for the people who don't know what this new game mode is, it is on the PBE right now, it's the 5 year anniversary mode, and it's basically set 11, but with a bunch of old trades that you can pick. You can pick two of them throughout the game, after the next carousel we can pick our second, and after the carousel, after that we can... I mean this is funny, right, but it's really bad. Ink Shadow Crest, what doesn't kill you? Pandora's items. Pandora's items is nice, man. I think I'll just grab it, bro. I'll just grab Pandora's items. Just give me those perfect items, man. And we're good to go now. Um, yeah, we're good to go. Just give me my perfect items and we're good to go. So we do want the static shiv, right? Like, a static shiv is good. I go where the trouble is. A static shiv is good as frick, right? Because uh, we'll, we'll deal a lot of magic damage with our with the glacial trait, and um, yeah, this should be a fun game, guys. Duelist, just send it, man. Just abuse what the enemy abused against me a couple games ago. We'll only do that once, just to showcase it, and then if I if it's actually really broken, uh, we will not play it again because that is pretty lame. Because this is a four fun mode on the PVE, right? Uh, but yeah, the Duelist full Glacial should do infinite damage. Again, the guy got Mr. 100 with this. The guy that we played against a couple games ago, he just got Mr. 100. He completely dominated the lobby. There was no counterplay. It felt like I can't do anything. QSS is not that bad. As long as I don't get CC'd, I'm just gonna CC them. It's not that bad. I wanna sell something here, I just wanna make 30. QSS is not that bad. Uh, so I definitely want Bloodthirst. I, I think I want, just want normal items on Lee Sin though. I think just standard items on Lee Sin is smarter. Uh, Ginsu's doesn't make a lot of sense, I think. Like, if we play 6 Duelist, we don't really need it. This guy's also playing Duelist. Okay, so I need to scout what the enemies have. Trainer, Socialite, the Boss, Rebel, Laser Core, okay. Uh, mascot. And then this guy has Hellion. Okay. None of those are like insane. Like Yordle is usually a 3-star Vagar, which is almost as strong as a 3-star 5 cost, right? So <laughs> they, they usually win the game, and then the Glacial players usually win the game. That's what I see win the games the most on this new game mode. Again, it is on PvE, they will fix it. They will fix those things right before it comes out. <clears throat> this will be a good friend of me, guys. I can instantly tell this guy would be a good, great friend. What do you think, guys? Don't you think this guy would be a good friend of me? Nico Robin Feet. <laughs> guys, I'm sorry for being inappropriate, but I'm salivating. I'm salivating, guys. Anyway, guys, um, let's just sell this as well. Frick it. Shall we? Just 
just keep the duelists, man. We make 40 gold, like a boss. We're super rich, we make 50 next turn. Not too shabby, guys. Shimmer Scale does well in my games. Yeah, Shimmer Scale, Shimmer Scale does well, yeah. That's true. Shimmer Scale does perform pretty well right now. But yeah, we'll see how it goes, man. It should be fun. Again, after the carousel here, we'll get another trait. A random one out of all the ones that were added from the previous sets, right? And then at the stage 3 carousel, we'll be able to upgrade one of the two. We can just pick one of them. And um, I will probably go Glacial, right? We're building our strategy around Glacial. Is there any duelists? Well, there is, but no 3 cost. I'm not picking Diana. I'll just take the sword, get that Bloodthirster situated. I played with a Shurko fan called Lilia Toes earlier. He said he is YouTube only. Shout him out, XTD. Shout out to Lilia Toes if you're watching this, man. From Setsuko Loves Taylor Swift in the Twitch chat. Shout out, guys. Shout out, man. Um, Elderwood, the boss. The boss is nice. Like, the boss is not bad, bro. Attack speed as well. Yeah, I mean, we just go... Ah, but the boss... I think I'll just take Hellion. Actually, I'll just take Elderwood. I'll just take Elderwood, guys. Elderwood just gives me a, a little bit of support capabilities. It's not bad. Uh, so, Elderwood... So, like, I already know I want to go to Glacial, right? I don't give a frick about the other trait. And in my opinion, the boss at only one is not worth. You only give your unit a little bit of attack speed, but you have to give them this freaking boss knuckle. Uh, which I don't want to give to the Lee Sin. I think there is better items to give him. It does give 300 health, 30 attack damage, 30 ability power. But I don't know, I feel like the Lee Sin is going to be stronger. Unless I go 2 boss. But I don't want to go 2 boss, I want to go 2 glacial. So I feel like Elderwood is one of my favorite, uh, just supportive traits where I just go one-off because every two seconds your team just gains uh, ability, uh, bonus stats up to five stacks per fight, right? I think that's just nice, bro. I think that one's just nice, just comfy. Nothing to think about, nothing bad. Nothing crazy, nothing bad, right? Just comfy. Do we go Sterox on Lee Sin? We certainly could. So, we have to go for the for this as well, right? Which is 20 attack speed and 300 health. We have to put this on Lee Sin. So, Sterox makes sense, right? Butters or Sterox is gonna have the damage from the Glacial Mallet anyway. I could go QSS. I could go Butters or QSS, though. Isn't that better? Like, low-key, because QSS is also attack speed. But I feel like it's so much attack speed. I feel like QS, I like duelists already have enough attack speed, and then QSS adds attack speed later on during the fight. Like the longer the fight goes. I mean, honestly, it's not bad though, man. No, it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. Don't you play double Irelia? If you want to play double Irelia, you gotta find six Irelias, no? Am I really winning this? Jesus Christ, guys, that's crazy. This is Story Champion, by the way. This is the Garen carry on, man. It's really strong. And we just win for free. That is certainly a little bit crazy. I think I'll go QSS, man. Frick it. I think I'll go QSS. QSS on Lee Sin. Butters or QSS? Come on, it's not bad, right? <clears throat> Titan's better for tankiness. I don't know, man. It's not bad either, yeah. Titan is not bad either. I'll save the thing as well. Uh, we didn't get anything. So we got our static shiv. I'm gonna just level here. Doesn't really do much. Doesn't really do much leveling, but oh well. Uh, so am I going Titans or QSS now? 
frick, too late. Am I going Titans or QSS? Mm. The QSS is nice. It's not like the Lee Sin reaches so much attack speed that he has maximum attack speed. I feel like the QSS is nice. Like 6 Duelist or even 8 Duelist, they're not going to reach maximum attack speed. So the QSS adding more attack speed and just making sure he doesn't get CC and keeps stunning the enemy is kind of freaking nice, you know? It's really not bad. Titans is nice though as well, man. Isn't the f f gl fish bones with Glacial really broken? You can repeatedly stun the same target. So it doesn't really matter if you have fish bones or not. Oh, tiny but deadly! <laughs> Holy frick, guys, man. We win the game for free, guys. We win the game actually for free. I mean, now I'm going Titans, right? Forget it. I'm going Titans then. Okay, so what am I playing? I could play Sage instead of these worthless. Uh, instead of this worthless trash, Warden garbage. Doesn't really do much, right? Okay, I mean, now, now we win. Like, we win the game for free, actually. Like, there's no way, man. Does Runan's work with Glacial? No, Runan's does not apply any on hit effects. It is just a bolt that applies 50% of your attack damage as damage to an enemy. That's it. No on hits. It doesn't even apply armor fam, which is uh, very misleading because Last Whisper says any physical damage um, applies armor pen by that unit. AoE ultimates apply AoE armor pen. Hurricane does not apply armor pen. At least last time I checked it. They, they change stuff often, right? So they might have changed it. Hopefully they didn't. Okay, so what are we going for? What are we going for? So obviously we're going for duelists, right? But how much duelists are we going for? Also, is the glacial damage coming? No, it's coming from Volley Bear. So it will apply Omni Vamp. It will apply Omni Vamp. For example, the laser core is also an old trait that uh, summons little drones that shoot the enemies uh, when, when your allies attack. Uh, they are also flying around your ally, so you might think that your ally is doing the magic damage, but it's not. If you check the, st the stats here, uh, there will be a little laser core symbol, and the laser core is dealing uh, the magic damage. So Omnivamp will not apply on that damage, but with the Glacial uh, Mallet, it should apply, because it's the unit dealing it. Like a boss. Isn't Glacial Irelia completely broken? I mean, it is great, yeah? Like, she will definitely have one of them, yeah? She will most certainly have one of them. This guy just surrenders because he didn't get lucky or whatever. What is this, two stars? Holy frick, I'm back. I mean, there's a Tristana, but don't I want rather uh, this guy? Like, Tristana gives me four duelists, but I would rather have a three-star Volley Bear than a three-star Tristana late game, right? Like, Trusana is not as important, but the Volley Bear with Glacial Mallet will just basically not die. And he will just kill everyone. Volley Bear is definitely something we want a 3-star. He's so tanky at the 3-star, and then he just has the Glacial Mallet. It's impossible to, to lose, right? And then we just go Glacial. And now we're dealing 400 freaking damage, man. I mean, don't I just go, um, don't I just go Volley Bear items? Like, don't I just go full tank Volley Bear? I mean, I'll, I'll just go this for now. So, so what Volley Bear items do we want? QSS is good on him. QSS is actually good on him. Uh, what Volley Bear items do we want? Like, AP is good on him, right? Crown Guard is good on him. Uh, adaptive Helm is good on him. But honestly, it's not that good. Like, look at him, man. This is a, this is a freaking 
three-star Garen with the carry augment, by the way. It's a three-star Garen with the carry augment. We almost beat it. Now, it has very bad items, but still. It has very bad items. I'm still not sure which items to go for. Am I... QSS is not bad. I want the Omni Vamp on Bully Bear, I think. Usually it's... Yeah, Bloodthirster for sure. I mean, this doesn't matter what I take here. Oh, nice. That's so lucky. We get another Bully Bear. That's huge. Okay, I mean, I definitely want Bloodthirster, right? So I have Bloodthirster on Lee Sin. I have Bloodthirster on Bully Bear. I'll have Titans on Lee Sin. And then I could go QSS. Like, QSS on Bully Bear wouldn't be bad. I could also go for... Um, like, what would be good? Does Zyra Plants apply Frozen Stun? I I'll keep it a stack. I have not read this ability a single time. But it doesn't seem like it would apply on hit. Because the plants are attacking. It's like Heimerdinger turret or something. Would not de deal on hit either, right? Usually. Oh, this guy got so lucky though, man. He got extended duel into Ula's crown. He's gonna be really strong. I probably can't 3-star Volibear. Because he's uh, in the lobby as well. Ah, frick. Uh, QSS or what? Red Eye really are you, right? Red Eye really are is for sure good. Uh, do you think anything is better than QSS on Volley Bear? Probably not. I'll just make it, man. Like, I, I feel like nothing is better than QSS here. Like, with this, with this specific build, with Frozen thingy. Like, as long as he casts and ults and stuff, he can't lose, right? This is really good. We go Static Shift on Irelia, by the way, as well, I think. She's gonna apply it very often. Or we go Static Shift on Tristana and go for a proper item on Irelia. Yeah, that makes more sense. Hurricane on Irelia. Hurricane on Irelia? Probably, right? Go double hurricane and then just go someone else with the thing. Thing is, I'm losing so much health, no? Should I roll for three star volley bear? But I really can't, right? I really can't roll for three star volley bear, man. I really can't roll for three star volley bear. I think I just gotta use this to go nine. Like, I just need I really, I know. Because the other guy already has some Molly Bears. Like, there's no way I'll hit. There's no way I'll hit. I'll hit after he dies. I'll hit after he dies. Look how strong it is. Holy freak. The two Volley Bears are pretty dang. The two Volley Bears are insane. I, I wish I could check which one's which. Can you check which one's which so I can see which one's better? QSS or Titan? I mean, the Titans has to be better in terms of damage, right? But the QSS as a three star is gonna be way better, I think. But maybe I should go Titans on him as. Ah, uh, I don't know. I mean, healing orbs, right? Armistice is also good, though. I think it's healing orbs, though. Actually, maybe it's Armistice. Okay. Is this it? And we just go nine? Can we actually go 9, though? I don't want to roll an 8. I don't want to roll an 8, man. How does he have a 1-star Darius, a 1-star Yorick, but a 3-star... <laughs> he probably sold some stuff, right? To buy her... No, but he has 40 gold. I don't get it. I do not get it. Can I win this? Probably not, right? I probably just get one shot. I'm gonna stun the Yone like 50 times. Well, I'm gonna stun her, though. Oh, no. I didn't... I didn't stun her. Please stun her. Stun. Nice. Good job, bro. Holy freak. Okay, look at this magic damage from Tristana, by the way. The the, glo the glacial mallet is insane. I mean, I just hit level 9. It's over. Level 9, it's over, right? Oh, my God. Okay, I, don't I just roll them? Shall I prove them right? Like, don't I just roll them? Like, I'm just rolling them. I'm just rolling them. 
GG, I guess, bro. Yeah, I'm just rolling them. <coughs> okay, very good. Very good. We roll for two star Lee Sin. He has Radiant Hodge on Lee Sin. The Lee Sin will 1v1 me, unless we stun him repeatedly. We stun him? Oh, break not enough. Ah, oh, this just 1v1s me, man. Uh, 1v9s me, man. The Irelia is not doing enough with the Glacial Mallet. I think I won't go Glacial Mallet on Irelia. I think I'll actually go uh, another thing on her. No? Oh, there's a Wukong. That's, that's wild. That's actually wild. Now I kind of want to go level 9, though. Now I kind of want to go level 9. I mean, honestly, it's fine. Uh, like, I can just fit this. I, I just need to hit 3-star Volley Bear now. I just gotta hit 3-star Volley Bear. How many Volley Bears does he have? He only has 3. We can actually hit. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. That was so easy. I mean, I should be really strong now, right? I can probably go 9. Probably go 9. No need for a Lee Sin 2. Does he not have a single Lee Sin, really? That's so unlucky, bro. He doesn't have a single Lee Sin. That's actually so disgusting. Poor guy, man. Poor freaking guy. Do I do I even need 2-star I really? Uh, Tristana, not really. Not really. I mean, it is nice, though. I think that Irelia is not working properly with the Glacial Mallet. Actually, she is, though. Nah, she is. I'll just keep this Tristana, though. Two star Tristana is still two star Tristana. I don't know if I'm winning this, man. I thought I'm gonna be Giga Broken, but the boss players are actually winning hard. Oh man. I'm playing the wrong thing. Okay, I definitely go uh, Bloodthirster on him, probably. Right? Probably. I mean, who else do I itemize, right? Probably just Bloodthirster on him. I mean, yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah, probably. Okay. Uh, and then we just go level 9 and we play... Uh, what do we even play on level 9, by the way? My level 9 is kind of fake, but I need to, I need the 2-star legendaries. Oh, frick, my thing is dying. I mean, I can't win against freaking Garen, man. This go augment is broken and he has Blutters for now. Don't I just lose against Garen? Oh my god, it died! Holy frick, I don't even have 2-stars. I don't even have two stars yet and it died. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have to add another Sage, right? That's about it. There's nothing else to do. I could also add another Dragon Lord. I could add another Dragon Lord, but I feel like Sage is just better. Just add Morgana. She just slows the enemy attack speed. It's fine. So the so the the the, the thing got one shot though by the guy. So that's why he seems kind of trash here. Okay, I need two stars to Sana so my uh, last whisper stays alive. I feel like the QSS is good. But I might be wrong. I should have built the Edge of Night there. Am I just leveling already? I have 25 health. Probably. I can hit a lot of upgrades here. I have Lee Sin pair. Nice. Okay, I mean, that's it. Now I need to think about this. So, is QSS really the right item? I think it is. I just go Sterox on this guy. Make him a little bit tankier. It's not even bad. Do I go QSS on him as well, or no? Probably, right? Probably. Is he alive? No. Maybe I'm overdoing it with the QSS here. 
Also, Loki, I want to save this bow. I feel like I really are stronger without the Glacial Mallet. High key. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm overdoing it with the QSS. Um, I mean, I just need to roll here, right? Irelia. I feel like Irelia does not want the Glacial Mallet. Like, I feel like we can go way stronger on her if we get a Death Blade. Like, I feel, I feel like it's better because, like, the freaking Tristana can apply the on-hit just fine. But the Irelia can do way more damage with the third item, right? Like, if I didn't have a third item now for Irelia, I would go for it. But I, who else do I itemize? I have all my good units itemized. The Tristana is freaking trash at 2-star. Even at 3-star, it's trash. Alright, we're chilling. Not too shabby. I, I have two pairs. I two-star these. I'm insane, right? I'm super strong. I just go level 9 for 4 Sage. And we get infinite only vamp. And we're actually back. That ain't bad. Some call me evil. I think we're chilling. Shall I prove them right? And then we can just go belt on this idiot. Probably. Okay. And we have the three star. Volley bear. I mean, he's doing fine, right? Maybe I should just go full tank on him instead of QSS. I don't know. The QSS might be wrong. I'm really not sure, but I feel like as long as he doesn't get CC'd, he can stun the enemies. It is pretty good, but he is dying very quickly for some reason. Like, look, he's going pretty crazy. Look at him. It's just the fight is so fast, right? He's not even dying quickly. It's just the fight is so freaking explosive that the, my, my teammates just one-shot everything that he can't really shine, right? Because the enemies just get one-shot. But I can see myself losing a fight if he gets stun stunned at the start of the fight and then just gets blown up. With uh, not being able to heal, not being able to counter stun the enemies. And then I just lose the fight, right? Because I don't have a Volley Bear tanking. It, an item to each champion. And then I just go Static Shiv on the other guy. On this guy. I just go these on, uh, uh, on, on, on Tristana. We're getting too many items, right? I don't have enough quality units to put the items on. That is the problem we have right now. That is the freaking problem we have. I mean, I stay level 9 this entire game, right? I just roll here. Okay, I mean, I have all the four pair. Like, bro, come on, man. You gotta be trolling me, man. Okay, I'm probably dead. I'm probably dead. I'm probably dead here. It's the boss player. Or not dead, but I lose this, I think. It's the freaking Lee Sin. Insanely strong. Like, so freaking strong is Lee Sin. Oh, he's getting stunned? But he just goes, he just leaves and does the thing. Now his entire team dies, and now he comes back. But he's just gonna get stunned. Okay, I'm, I'm back, I'm back. I, okay, okay, now, now you can see how strong it is, right? This was the perfect showcase of how insanely toxic this Glacial trade is. Alright, not bad. We, guys, we get these two stars. We're golden. We're actually golden. And he was he was win streaking hard. And he just got cleared. And I, I'm not even at half my potential. Like, this is a huge upgrade. This is a huge upgrade, right? Th these are gonna be huge upgrades, man. These two as well. I mean, I can roll here because, yeah, like, I'm, I'm definitely willing to sell Morgana, right? Like, frick Morgana, man. I just don't want to lose these fights. I want to keep my 25 hell and my win streak. Like, the Morgana is just Static Shift, I idiot. And Sage. The thing is, Static Shift is kind of important, so 2-star Morgana is nice. There's the... Okay, he, he put the Nar in front of me. The Nar is just gonna get obliterated. This guy is also gonna scale pretty hard. He has 1-star Lilia with a Radiant. The Nar just gets absolutely one-shot. The boss trait doesn't work, apparently. Uh, when it's a ghost fight, okay. Not that it would've mattered, right? If I don't lose to the Radiant Hodge Lee Sin, I'm not losing to this Nar. 
Remember guys, the boss trait at 2 makes your unit deal true damage after it does the sit-ups. A bunch of attack speed and true damage, okay? So that's pretty crazy. That is pretty freaking crazy. Um, we're guaranteed top 4 almost. We're gu almost guaranteed top 3. And yeah, we just need 2-star Aurelia. This guy is going for 3-star Lissandra. No, he just has 4 of them. He has 4 of them, but he might go for 3-star Lissandra. I mean, if he wins, he wins, right? I'm not gonna deny that on a 4-fun mode. This guy has 2 Irelias, which is pretty annoying. This guy also has 2 Irelias, so that's already 6 Irelias with my 2. It's pretty freaking do. annoying. Okay, that's a lot of money, though. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go level 10, but I feel like I'm not. I feel like I'm not, but uh, she is very contested, so I might be supposed to go level 10. So what are those items now? I don't know, I, like honestly it's just BT on this guy, like it doesn't really matter what Morgana has. I mean Shojin is not bad on Morgana though. But we actually want her to auto-attack as much as possible. So I think it's actually Titans on Yasuo, which is so silly, right? Uh, like, we just want the Yasuo to be a little tanky, right? He absorbs some some damage and it, it's good enough. Because, uh, like, the, 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 the freaking Morgana, we do not want her to cast. We want her to do nothing and just freaking uh, attack. We want her to just freaking attack. That's about it. Okay, I should probably give these items to... Kiana though, right? Like, Kiana is actually a beast. It's a very good unit. I mean, yeah, the game is almost over. I, I definitely should not have gone level 10. It's definitely the right decision to roll here. Both the Irelia players are still alive, man. And this guy hit. I'm fighting this guy. Okay, I mean, let's see how it goes. Am I really a one? I might lose here. This guy is really strong. He had a lot of two-star legendaries. He hit Rakan and... Well, he already had set, but he just hit Rakan too. With Umbral Emblem. Could be pretty crazy, I'm not sure. His Lee Sin is doing sit-ups. He's gonna freaking kill my, my everything. But he's gonna get stunned. Let's go! Huge! Okay, I mean, I really are too, I'm guaranteed. I win guaranteed. He won against my Ghost. I really are too, I win guaranteed. But it's, it's so hard to hit, right? Probably won't hit until one of them dies. Like, hopefully we can kill this guy. He's also glacial. Oh, he has the same. He's basically the same as me, but he's actually stronger because look at these. Look at these better units. Oh, but he's not playing four duelists though. Oh, that's. I mean, it's fine. Who cares? Because she doesn't have the static ship anymore. I think we win, because my Volley Bear just doesn't get stunned. I think we're very favorable in this matchup, because we don't get stunned. For the first 18 seconds of the fight. See, he's just life-stealing. Yeah. He would have died without QSS. Insane! Let's go, man. Insane, guys. He's freaking dead. Huge. I really on Carousel. Do I give him another Umbral Emblem? I mean, he can, he can get one anyway. He can get one anyway. I'm actually... Oh, frick, what did I get? Ah oh, man. I mean, I'll just reforge this, whatever, bro. Ah, oh, frick. I'll just reforge this. Oh, nice. That's not even bad. It's actually good. Do I switch the items of Wukong? Not really, I would rather have QSS. Um, I think positioning like this is fine. I might get my Morgana killed by Set though. She might just get one shot, and then I don't have Static Shift. I think positioning like this is fine. Okay, I didn't get my Morgana killed. 
No, I did get my Morgana killed, man. But it's fine, it doesn't matter. I'm just obliterating him. It's not even close, bro. It's not even close. My I really have died instantly, it's not even close. He might hit three star set, but he probably shouldn't, right? Like it'll be really stupid. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deny it. Because it's fun, right? It's a four fun mode, guys. It's a four fun freaking mode. I'm not denying it. If he hits, he hits. It's a four fun mode. If you hit, you hit, boy. You're level nine though. You do need a lot of luck. <laughs> Are you gonna hit? Ah, he's not rolling anymore. Ah, unlucky. GG, guys. We take those. Oh, man. Yeah, Glacial is, Glacial is crazy, guys. Subscribe, ring the bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the algorithm so I can get some more views. And I'll see you next time. Peace.